Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number four of exercise sixteen point two. And the question says, if three one z five is a multiple of three, where z is a digit, what might be the values of z? Again, this is a multiple of three means this complete number must be divisible by three completely. Now, according to the divisibility rule of three. If I have any number and I have to check whether this is divisible by three, I have to add the digit given in this number, and if the sum of these digits is divisible by three, then this complete number must also be divisible by three. So if I add, this is three plus one is four, plus five is nine. So the sum will become nine plus z upon three. Now we don't know the value of z. That is what we are going to find in this question. If the sum is divisible by three, so what are the possible sum, or you can say the what are the possible numbers which are divisible by three? So the first possible number is three. The second is six and nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. 27 and 30 and so on these are the multiples of 3 means these are the numbers which are completely divisible by 3 now i have to make this sum equals to these number then only this sum will be divisible by 3 and i will get our answer so first of all i can't make this sum as 3 or 9 uh, sorry 3 or 6 because If I add even zero here, so nine plus zero will be nine, not three or six. So the the least value which I can add to nine is zero. Even if I add zero to nine, the values six and three are not possible. So the first value of z could be zero. There, in that case, this will be nine plus zero is equal to nine, which is divisible by three. So the first value of z must be zero. Means The first number, which must be divisible by three, is three one zero five. Now, let's make this sum as twelve. To make this sum as twelve, I have to substitute the value of z here three. In that case, nine plus three will be twelve, and which is divisible by three. So the second value of z here can be three. So this is the second number which is divisible by three. Now let's make this sum as fifteen. So in that case, I have to substitute the value of z as six. In that case, nine plus six will be fifteen, which is divisible by three. So the third number, or you can say, when I substitute the value of z as six, so this third number will be divisible by three. Now I have to make this sum as eighteen. In that case, if I substitute the value of z as nine. So this will be nine plus nine eighteen, which is again divisible by three. So the fourth value of z, for which this complete number is divisible by three, is three one nine five. After that, if the number is eleven, sorry, if the if the sum is twenty one, if I have to make this sum as twenty one, in that case I have to add eleven with nine. So, twelve uh, with nine. The, in that case, the sum will become twenty-one, and that is divisible by three. But that is again not possible because if I substitute the value of z as twelve, this will become a two-digit number. But here it is given that this is a single-digit number. So, these are the only values possible for which. This complete number is divisible by three, and these are those three numbers. So this is how you can solve this question. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any query regarding maths, you can contact us. The phone number and the email address is given below in the description. Thank you.